Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the vlog. Set you off on my water bottle tripod here. Come on. Come on. You guys should see how creative I get with these tripods every morning. The funny thing is I do have an actual tripod, but it's just never set up. Okay, I'm going to try the plant tripod. There we go. That's actually going to work better. There we go, the plant tripod. Uh, yeah, welcome back to the channel. I just uploaded the golf video, which is extremely exciting. And now I'm going through, oh gosh. And by golf video, I obviously mean the match with Tyson that I filmed a couple days ago. And now I'm going through and deleting all of the footage, which I just posted an Instagram story. I'm a, I'm a upload delete kind of guy. Like I just, as soon as I upload the video, I just delete all the footage, which is how I roll. And uh, I don't know, I, I'm not, I've never been like a save the footage stored in a hard drive kind of guy. And I don't really see the point for myself in doing that because I mean, I don't know, I'm a YouTuber. Once I upload the video, it's on YouTube. I don't need to do anything else with it. So anyways, I just go through and I clean out everything. I delete everything. And then I start completely fresh in the same timeline. And I know that probably, again, would stress a lot of editors out, but for me, it's just, it's just how I do things. So I think, uh, I think I am going to upload my round of 70 to the golf channel as well. I was kind of going back and forth with it. Obviously I uploaded it like the next day to the vlog channel, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it with commentary. So I'm going to commentate over the round. Cause like it's a pretty cool milestone and I kind of feel like it is interesting enough to share. My only hesitation was that obviously being filmed on the iPhone, like my goal with the golf channel when I upload golf content is for it to be, you know, really well produced and to have like, you know, proper camera and, um, you know, just everything like looking nice, but I can put this together with, um, a few more graphics and things if I want to and add the commentary and I think it can be good. So we'll see. I'm going to start editing it anyways and see if I like it. But today I don't really know actually how much work I'll put into it because I'm going golfing today. It's nice and sunny. We have a long weekend here in Canada for family day. And typically I just try to mirror my wife when she, uh, has time off, I take time off. So we are taking a long weekend this weekend. But anyway, if you can't tell, I've already started editing this video here. So we are gonna jump right into it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's vlog. It's gonna be a golf heavy vlog. It's nice and sunny up though, so it's gonna look pretty. This guy's back, editing Nate's back. I didn't really think editing Nate was going to make an appearance today, but we had some time. We're going to the course in probably like half an hour or so. We're going to get a solid range session in. Um, obviously, I didn't train this morning like in the gym because I knew I wanted to. I didn't go to the range last night. Body's feeling sore, but good. It's beautiful out. So we're going to go get a solid range session in. And then we're going to play hopefully close to 18 holes. We're going back to the same course where we shot the 70 just because it's probably like the closest course to me that has a range that also has relatively open tee times. That's also really cheap at this time of day. So, um, perfect mix, but we will, I want to, I love playing different courses, but I'm not really going to go to like ran if I'm just playing by myself and it's mainly like for the purpose of practicing, I'm not just going to like venture out to like a random course likely and play with randoms. I'm just going to go like something close by, but anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to head over there shortly, but I decided to put together that round of 70 for the main channel um, because I do, like I've said, I do obviously want to be start uploading more golf content and I mean, shooting your first ever under par round and having it on film, it's like, and you have a golf channel, it's like, it, it kind of makes sense, you know, like I already uploaded it to um, this channel, the vlog channel, but I didn't edit it really, like this one, not only did I edit, ah, 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 what the frick was that? Oh, it was a receipt. <laughs> A receipt just fell and hit my foot. We have a mouse problem right now in this house, so everything that like touches me, I think, is a mouse. Oh, may heart attack. All right. Anyway, we uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. What the heck was I even talking about? Oh yeah, around the seventy. Um, anyway, so I went back and I edited. It. I put in like score graphics. I I actually did a full commentary over it, <clears throat> talking through each and every shot. So 
I don't know, I really want to only upload like super high quality stuff to that channel. So I was a little bit shy to upload this one, but I mean, the video quality is good. It's just, it's not as interactive, but I think the commentary kind of works with that. And people upload like Brian Rose and even Grant Micah, they upload tournament footage all the time to their channel, which is like no tracers. It's just like the shaky cam of them hitting from different angles and like just score graphics. So and people like those. So this is, this kind of felt like a tournament-esque video for me. And I think when I do play in tournaments this summer, this is probably how I'll do it. I'll probably have someone filming it. And obviously I'm not talking to the camera and then I'll come back and do a voiceover kind of after. Um, so anyways, but yeah, it was, it was, I think it went pretty well. I think it's coming out pretty good. I'm excited to upload it. I think it's just, it's one I have to share. So Anyways, we're going to hop in the car and we're going to head to golf. I'll see you there. See you at the range probably because that's, I got some, I got some swing stuff I want to work on before we start playing around today. I was just hardcore jamming out to some, some 41 in too deep. I was just having a thought, man. Thought that literally fired me up so much. I'm headed to the range. I'm so passionate about golf. I'm so passionate about YouTube and a, an opportunity to finally combine the two things through this vlog and through now posting golf content on the main channel I'm so fired up and like <clears throat> I was just thinking about this like I am I love change I love having a goal I love having I love chasing I love clawing my way to the top of something and anytime I get comfortable I hate it I go nuts I love the bottom. Like, I love the feeling of being on the bottom. And I'm not going to say I'm on the bottom of, like, YouTube playing golf because obviously there's people who get lots of views in the channel smaller or whatever. But, like, I almost feel like I'm, like, working to build another thing by posting more playing content. And if I want... Like, I'm not saying I'm not going to post news videos and they come up and all that. But, like, if I want to post me playing golf, like, I, I, I have to earn the right to your views I have to earn that and it just fires me up so much like not only to get better at golf but to work my butt off to get the best videos to shoot the best videos to edit the best videos to put my freaking blood sweat and tears into this to make the best content possible and to become one of the biggest YouTube golf creators like that's my new goal I'm so excited Boy, I am real sore. Um, all right, here's what we're gonna be trying to work on tonight. We're gonna be working in the same rotation, driving the hip back and having a slight boat wrist, but I'm gonna try to really increase backswing. I noticed when I set the club at the top, it's like vertical. I wanna rotate more so the club is like horizontal over my shoulders. Mainly because that's what I've seen everyone else do. So I'm gonna try that. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we are finding things right now. I actually had a backswing. I had a backswing and it felt so much more relaxed. And it, I'm walking up this hill backwards, by the way, because of my groin. Anyways, I had a backswing. It felt relaxed. It felt so powerful. I think I felt what everyone means by lag. I still have no idea what lag means, but I think I felt it. The club just comes whipping through. I think everything I'm gonna hit today is gonna be 100 yards over the green. I don't even care. This is gonna be insane. <sighs> I love golf. All right, well, we're rocking the cart. I'm excited for this to be over. I'm doing it because of my drawing. Usually I walk, but we're back in a car today. It actually is kind of nice for filming. It's just not so nice for my bank account, but 
somehow between the driving range and the first tee, I lost my towel. I like hit my tee sharp, realized I didn't have it. Zipped around trying to find it, couldn't find it. So someone must have picked it up. Kind of a bummer start to around. I love that towel. I spent like 60 bucks on it. It's my Christmas present to myself. Oh well, even after one. I'm definitely not about to make excuses, but every green is a temporary green today because we had frost this morning. And I still don't have a battery for my rangefinder. So <laughs> I'm playing this whole round with absolutely no sweet clue how far I am from any green ever. Because my watch, I have a GPS watch, but it only goes to the real greens, obviously not the temporary greens. So I'm just trying to guess off like landmarks. So on that, I got up there I thought it was only going to be like, I thought it was going to be like 120, 125. Nope, it's like 105. And I had a 50 degree and it was downhill. So I tried to hit the smoothest 50 degree ever and just left the face shut. So obviously it's easy to not come through when you're not trying to hit it hard. And it was still 15 yards long. That's all right. We, I guess we'll chip from the green to the green. Got an awful lot of cart game opportunities here because my partners are walking and I'm carting, so I'm way ahead of them. Uh, of course, it's empty, which is great. I mean, there's people, but it's not, uh, we're not really waiting on any shots, which is lovely. But I just gotta let that, I like, I feel like I know what leg feels like now because of the range, and I just gotta let it happen. I feel like I just get, I still, like, my arms will just get stuck at the top and I don't finish the backswing. So it's like trusting that. So I don't know, I'm just gonna try to just every swing feel that because it was feeling so good on the range um and just let that come through in this but man sun i'm in a polo right now as long as the sun's on me i'm hot this is lovely there we go that was lag oh, it felt like it felt like i let that back swing go and that came out just like the ring so high so straight so pure i landed like five feet left of the green we got that chip for eagle i might even putt it and take it seriously if not we got a birdie Something. something different is happening. Something is here. This is exciting. It has dropped minimum. 10 degrees since we started our round. I think mainly just the sun disappeared. It is so cold. Anyway, we're just finishing up. I'm just driving it now. I'm gonna go hit some balls on the range for a little bit. When I'm by myself, I don't typically ever play 18. I'll usually only play 18 if I'm with friends. Um, that last time was a little weird because obviously I was shooting such a good score. I mean, we're doing fine today. I think we're probably, I mean, it's temporary green, so it's hard to say, but we're in around even far. We haven't made a bogey yet and then I'm saying right around because the birdies are questionable. Um, the one, especially the ones I did today. Like the last video, I putted everything out except for that first hole. Whereas today, we've been kind of just playing around. But everything's just focused on the swing change right now. So, which is why instead of playing more golf, I'm going to head to the range right now again. I didn't really get a ton of reps in in the warm up time, kind of caught up. But I just want to go and I just want to feel that club getting behind me. Um, and creating that bit of lag. So I'm gonna go work on that right now. Mm, yeah, maybe it.
Shout out to my boy Curtis. I just met him at the range. If you're seeing this, you're a legend, buddy. Anyway. Oh boy, we found something. We have found something. We're getting back swings. Listen, I the back fence there is 275. That second last drive bounced off the fence. Range balls in probably seven degrees Celsius weather. 275 carry bouncing off that fence. Never, never. Even in the summer, maybe sometimes in the summer, but definitely never in the winter. And just the feeling, the ball flights, the like power of the swing. Like I think I'm grasping what that wrist hinge is and what lag is and what creating all that is because the club's just coming through and it's just, it, it, my ultimate goal with the whole swing change was to feel more athletic in the swing, like to have it feel just more like a natural athletic motion and not like some sort of like overly manufactured, like tight, awkward thing. And I am achieving that goal with flying colors. It's finally starting to feel athletic. And the fact that we're also having really solid results. Oh boy, that was great. I'm glad I hit those extra balls at the end. I got a good feel with kind of the wrist and just like letting the wrist kind of go a little bit at the top of the backswing. Oh, it's feeling good, baby. We're gonna play 18 on Sunday with Tyson. I don't, I'm not filming, just gonna play for fun. But uh, at a course I love, so looking forward to that. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good day. I'll let you guys know how that goes. I mean, I'll film on the vlog, obviously. I'll film shots of the vlog, so you'll see how that goes, but that's a really tough course, so. And it's one that pays to hit it far. It'll be very good. Anyway, oh, my arms. My arms are so sore. That was tough. I'm headed home now. I'm gonna eat some chicken breast and rice checks on the way. AKA second lunch. And then we're just chilling tonight, man. Probably watch some Love is Blind again. Just a nice, relaxing day, you know? I love you guys. I love making these videos. I love documenting this journey. I can't wait to document more of this golf journey this summer. Playing on this tour. It's gonna be sweet. Have a good night, day, whatever. Bye.